Okay, let's get back to constraining these. So I'm going to put in an offset constraint and I just did a little bit of research and it turns out that these Lego pieces are 32 millimeters long. So I'm going to put in a flush constraint between these two surfaces, but I want it to be offset by half of the distance. So half of 32 is going to be 16. And I'm going to type in 16 and it's going to do 16 inches and it's going to be super crazy. But I can just put in mm for millimeter. And now if I look at it from over at one of the sides, it is exactly halfway offset, which is how I want that to be. So I hit apply and then uh, let's move this over a little bit. And uh, the last constraint I want to put in is going to be a mate constraint between the bottom of here. And let's click on the top of this and the top of there. Apply. Okay, so once again, this one here is grounded. This one here is fully constrained to it. Now let's check that the bottom one is fully constrained and it looks like it is. All right, so one more quick uh, put this one in and uh, let's just set it under there. Um, Actually, let's let's have some fun with it and pull it off to a little bit. So let's start by putting in a mate constraint between this surface and do 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 flip things around that surface. Apply, um, and then let's put in a mate constraint between the top surface and uh, I can just barely see it here. This surface right here. All right, apply. All right, so now this piece is constrained here, um, offset by a little bit. And so we are going to do one more constraint. We're going to do a flush constraint between this surface and this surface. But we don't want it to be actually flush. We want it to be offset by eight millimeters, just like that. Apply. And so you can imagine that using a few constraints, you could build a whole pile of things out of Lego.